Welcome back to The Witcher 3. Yep, we're still at a party. If I have to do all these events, it's gonna take for fucking ever. That's it. Okay. Thanks. Was she dancing? I didn't even know. Your health, <laughs> Sir Dwarves. May your beards grow long, but never tangle round your ankles. To the young lovers, may their loins never be. May the sand many up there, and we gobs are coming. Okay. Let's get back outside. There's some stuff out here. So, but we military. It's gonna be interesting. Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a true fire eater. Uh -oh. You know, wool scoop, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. But we'll show them how wrong they are. That <laughs> seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. <laughs> groom's hound chased him off. That blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witch is here now. Perhaps he can aid us. Uh, tell me everything you know about this beast. Before I can begin my witcherly investigation, I require guidance, clues. Tell me all you know, everything. Well, the Fire Eater arrived around noon. It is fill of food, not fire. They went for a stroll to air some gases, he said. <coughs> That horror demon saw him and started barking like a thing possessed. Why so? Haven't a clue. Didn't like the man, sent something awry. Perhaps that the man swallowed fire. Animals fear fire. If I feared, it would have fled, not given chase. Yeah. Damn fool dog. How can you know? But it snapped its chain and chased the fire eater into the woods. Foolish or not, it's our son-in-law's beloved pet. There'll be hell to pay if it goes missing. I'll find your animal. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, will find this swallower of heated things. Mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The Flame Gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you and hope for the best. I have to go find a goddamn dog. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Vladimir. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. <sighs> Great. Um, don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe you. Tally-ho. Tally-ho! Great. Just magic. Following some dog's trail? Not exactly how I imagined this wedding. Think I'll wait here. Wonderful, my juicy pear. I shall continue my travails while you rest. Juicy pear. Now. Sounds so bad. I'm just saying. Think we found it. Fire eater up the fire eater is up a tree. I'm coming for you, I'm coming for you. Huh. 
Hello! Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. Hey, dog. So. You, get down. Oh, no. No bloody chance. I value my life. What do we do? How calm it. <sighs> Sit. Now that is power. If yeah. I had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground, that sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? I'll do it myself. Ah, oh, crap. Roll over. That's not rolling, there you go. Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Deer. Why did that deer Dog just walk now. through us? Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun. Have it at the wedding. Climb down. Man-eating beast's gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. Better safe than sorry, I always say. Time to go eat some fire. Garrett, this ass. jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Course. Bottoms up. Just a little bit of a sip. Just, just a little bit. I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. Boar was fleeing a hound. Hound? Boar, it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name for it. Are you always so easily scared seeing as how you eat fucking fire? You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! So you Not said, really. You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. Now what have become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? Hmm, I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. Well, anyways. The wedding? You can forget about performing in your state. I just what state would that be? Drunk as a skunk. Man. You're a tramp, can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Kinda is. Um, you know what? Let's just sober up on the way. Oh, you shan't pull the wool over my eyes. I know your type. Now, here's the plan. We shall head down this path till we arrive at the wedding. You'll have sobered by then. But... Silence. Do you know me, sir? When a nobleman speaks, you listen. You will stay close at my side. We will return to the wedding where you will put on a show to make our honored guests soil their breeches from joy. Got it? Y yes Good. Then let's be off. I mean, he was paid to Keep do a calm. job. I shan't say a step. Wild animals behind every stump in these woods. I mean, you mean like the dog? God, bear! Bear? That? As much as your cock's a tent pole. Hi, blind fool. Save me! What do you think I'm doing right now? I caught on my HP. Though. I don't remember seeing that ever. Take a little bit of raw meat with me. Tell me, are bears often boar shaped in your experience? Got weak eyes, see. Besides, I'm a fire eater, not some damn naturalist. Indeed, you are not, Master. Uh, okay. Uh, believe I failed to ask. What do they call you? David Altersborough. Listen David. Here, Master Hattonsborough. Fucking Stay close David. And no harm will come to you. 
I'll see to it your drunken, fire-spitting gob gets to the wedding safe and sound. The missing fire blower is missing no more. It was my doing, if I may say so myself. And Demon? What's with him? He failed to return. No, he did. He's just acting mighty strange. Seems to be in a muddle of sorts. Got as much life in him as a carrot. Might have eaten some nightshade or whatnot. He'll be fine. Your attention, please! I invite all to witness the spectacle unrivaled. A man so bold as to eat fire! Should you eat fire we when you're that watch drunk? The trickery. Never saw anything like it while alive. <laughs> Don't light the child on fire, please. <laughs> it's a simple torch. I don't see any fire eating right now. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Having fun like a goddamn child. Halflings! Can it be the Gwent? Perhaps you'd care to sit down to some Gwent with us? Most certainly would. You needn't ask twice, No, I'm, not, I'm good. I'm More not a Gwent person. Apologies. I'm sorry. I meant no offense. Were that true, you wouldn't have called him a midget. I've apologized. What else would you have me do? Bring him flowers? I'd have you play and stop talking. Let us play, gentlefolk. How are we going? Everything. The whole lot. I'm all in. I never knew you to be such a gambler. You shall see many new sides of me this night, my dear. Many large sides. Whoa. Settle down there, bud. Normally we play that the losers got to wear the ass ears. I needn't care. I shan't lose. I don't... How much am I fucking betting? Um... Get them back off. There we go. And the cow, of course. Um, I guess I'll start. Not enough units. But that's everything I have. talking about how do I add more cards when I have no cards yeah I literally added every single fucking card you lose the chance. hand over the wager everything how much? Perhaps we could reach an arrangement. Oh, weaseling out of this. Hand over the coin! What do we do now? 
Feel good losing somebody else's coin? I meant to win, give you the coin. I've no need for it in the grave. But you lost, so now I've got to pay up. I say, he talking to himself. Yeah. Oh, drunk already, that's it. We didn't even play, to be fair. Have him don the cup and we'll call it even. Okay, Just that's fair. Bloke needs a lesson. I say he dons the cup and gives us 5% of the coin he has. I say none. Hey, here we welcome in. Thanks for the bits. And I shall wear the cap. That's the sex fear. number. A man must do what a man must do, and Vladimir von Everex, a man among men. Hear that? So sloshed he thinks he's Vladimir von Everex. Rogue's long dead, by my reckoning. Exactly. <sighs> <laughs> Those ears. You look uh, interesting. Interesting, I you say. Drink. We are at a wedding. Aye, let's drink. My time's as short as you are, friends. To the Witcher and his betrothed. Hey, that Shani, my betrothed. Know what that means? Oh, Jesus. No. What? It means we should act as befits the betrothed. And what's that mean? I woo you, you resist. But it all ends as everyone knows it must. Please tell oh, me that's not how this ends. It. Good show indeed. Let's continue the ball. She. Uh, I think he looked charming. Quite the lark, this Gwent. Onward to the next diversion. If they end up together, I, I. She doesn't have the taste I thought she did. Um, where? Hello, Geralt. You know me. What's that frown about? I'm trying to. There we go. I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to yours, Shani, naturally. Your naturally. Happiness. Fortune smile upon your white. Where is Shani? Seems like she, uh. Ah. Of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. The young man's mistaken me for another. Uh -huh. I like my women as I like my peaches. Fuzzy and well ripe. I... That's enough. Uh... Drunk and randy. Nothing good's uh... ever come of that mix. I, I like my women hairy and old. That I, um. Just, um. Uh... That's what he said, Kiwi. Just, uh, I'm gonna continue along. Check out my ears. I proudly wear them. There we go. My gingerbread's now but flour, honey, eggs, and spices. I beg to differ, madame. You oh my, it's announcing it twice. Ingredient in gingerbread. Guess I'm gonna have to suck what this ball in silence. What dash is he feeding them? Quiet. If you listen, you'll learn. Oh. Time? What do you mean, time? An ingredient? Time gives the proper consistency. Time provides that ideal crunch on the outside. The You're right. moistness uh, within. It's ball shower. For how much of this time does it take? That you will not find in any recipe. You must surrender to your senses. Let them lead you so close to time, you touch it. Let you sniff it, stroke it even. Mm. Time. Time is the key. Greetings, Shani. I must introduce myself. Gaunter Odip. My, what a lovely dress. The color suits you exquisitely. Thanks. I've heard a lot about you, but no one mentioned cooking. Seem to know quite a bit about gingerbread. Quite simply, I know a lot this about it. This crunchy. Is that so? What do you know about me? That you were ever the worst brother. That you envied all gear from your earliest days and always wished to be just like you. Wait, you can see me? That is, me, Vladimir von Everek? Of course. Why ever wouldn't I? 
because I'm in Geralt's body, the Witcher's, and... Just who would I be if the true nature of things remained hidden from me? Someone like you, meaning no one. I wouldn't want to get blood on my damsel's dress, but insult me once more and... You shan't touch me. Yeah. I know you'd very much like to act like your brother in this situation, demonstrate how manly you are, but let's be honest, nothing will come of it. You're simply not him, no matter how much you wish you were. You know what? Prove it. Rubbish. I never envied my brother. Of course you did. He was a shining role model. Olgierd ran faster, shot truer, lifted greater weights. Olgierd learned to read first, although you tried your damnedest to beat him. As you grew up, he had his pick of girls, whereas you may do with the leftovers. I apologize, Shani. I'm rather sorry you have to hear this. Stop fooling yourself. Shani isn't here for you. She's here for Geralt. Even after death, you still play the pale imitation. Oh, it's not by fair. By the way, Olgierd's a much better dancer. You lying dog. That's my brother. I loved him. The question is, were you as dear to him as he seems to have been to you? He made a hero of me in death. In my last battle, in truth, I was far from valiant. Five came at me. I'll not deny it. I fled. I hid in a cellar, yet they found me. Mm. Cornered me like a rat. But Olgier told everyone I flew at all five. Took them on, all at once. Alone. I'm rather curious how you know all this. Olgierd visits my grave, often. Pours a drink for me, gets soused himself, and talks of the old times. He cannot see me, but I hear his every word. Mm. That's actually well, kind of sweet. Perhaps one day he'll say something I just very took it, Kiwi. Surprising. You didn't what hear me. What are you me. getting at? You I shan't here. disturb you any longer. Have a splendid time, for time is... I done sucked on your ball. Short. Kiwi gave us 500 bits. I wasn't sorry. even here to, to, to experience right. the ball. That was... Oh, forget him. We're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Let's go. The night's still young. Lies, not a word of truth. Don't let it bother you. Geard was not just my brother. More importantly, he was my best mate. Let it go. I believe you. And now revel on. Time won't wait. She's got a point, although we're going the wrong way. Of course you are, Kiwi, torturing everybody. I'll leave you for a moment. As a bridesmaid, I need to be by the bride for the cafe. Go on, Shani. I'll manage fine alone. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this night I've tasted of life's delights so fiercely, I've decided to make a speech. G Geralt, there's no need. Mm. Nah, he's got to do no it. That would be him. Need. Why, there's every need. <clears throat> Till now, I'd always considered peasant jollities unworthy of a gentleman. Or tell me, who among you would rub shoulders with swineherds if born a noble? I delighted in the beauty of buxom farm wenches, of course, and indeed still do. Given more time, I'd prove this to each and every maiden here. Farmhands are a different story. Never took any note of them. Had one or two groom my mounts. They did this well, but were never worthy of conversation. Nay, not even if you paid me. For one must live by certain principles. Am I right? What the fuck? But this day. This day has changed all. Beneath the muck and dung, a peasant is a man. I understand this. Thanks to you. You've still shite all to talk about, but I don't mind anymore. For this, I thank you and say, 
You are well loved. It's almost midnight. Time for the capping. Wait, I'm not done. Oh, yes, you are. All the maids join in the capping. You're a maid too, Shani. The midnight chime has struck. The capping times are come. What thoughts in young hearts prance? What dreams make young blood run? Be they nice, be they vice, of jestily or lordly stance, out they'll come in this hour's dance. Toast the lovely couple and give them a few weeks. Oh, wow, wow, this is a banger. Don't you mind a song we don't sing to be unkind? We sing so we can empty yet another sign. Rights one love eternal, right and best beware, or she'll make you a core gold in the corner. I'd listen to this on Spotify all day long. Must be second cow. That's not good. I think her hat looks a little bit better than his. What the? And then he's gone. That really necessary. It came rushing back in a torrent. How we caroused at all geared's wet. I couldn't resist. Had to pet a few words. Will you give him the letter? I will. Thanks. You're a good chap, Witcher. Dull as dirt, but good. Thanks. A lovely custom. Blushing maids twirling in dance. The hair swirling Thank freely, you, the bodice is undone, the bouncing. Will you stop? Did you see it? Shani caught the garland. She'll be next to marry as peasant superstition has it. Maybe. Doesn't matter. It's past midnight. Time for you to go back to the crypt. I can't. I'm not finished here. It's past midnight. You can take off those lovely ears. Only if you want to, of course. Lovely as they are, think I'll put them away for now. Is Vladimir's ghost gone? You see, she asks after me, misses me already. I'm here, my ever-loving tulip. That kiss as we danced made my head so light. A team of hellish stallions hey, could not take me this away guy. before I receive one more, or two more. Or as many as you'll give. You seem to have enjoyed yourself. I'm glad. A kiss. I knew it would end this way. An end that is but a beginning. No, it's just an end. <laughs> it's after midnight. Your time has come. Ah, we needn't fret such trifles. Death's not come to claw me back, so why not continue our revels? What's Geralt think about that? You gave your word. Shani, darling. I'm dead. Can't expect too much from a corpse. Vladimir von Everick, go back whence you came. Please. Stay out of this. Stop! I beg you! Stop! Get ye hence, or I'll take you with me. Moldy crypt will look like paradise in comparison. The choice is yours. Don't torture him. I promise he'll not die. <laughs> Heaven forbid he should die. 
gods. What is this? That was unduly harsh. Didn't have to make him suffer. Of course I needn't have. But I could. I hope and so he did. Him. I disposed of a pest. There was no need for you to suffer his cheek any longer. Geralt had finished his task, you see, so... Yes, I know. As soon as he finishes one task, he needs to rush off to the next. Who knows? Perhaps this time will be different. I saw you looking at each other, no. and it just so happens I also know the history you share. Uh. Mm -hmm. How? Shani, darling, would you ask an eagle how it knows how to fly? He just knows. Regardless, what matters is Vladimir von Everett will bother you no more. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to stay a little bit more. Mm. She's a friend. This better not lead where I think it's going to lead. Can I save? Of course not. I'd like to stay longer, but... Don't make excuses, Geralt. I'm not angry. A witcher has to ply his trade. Follow his path. This time it's not really my trade. As for me, well... Perhaps I expected too much of this wedding. Got the wrong impression. Not sure I understand. <laughs> Never mind. I should find Eldona. I am her bridesmaid, after all. Ah, there it is. The face of a man who's failed to understand a woman. You understand her? Of course. Women are simple. The problem is that men are hopeless fools. So men and women are simple, Your gotcha. <laughs> now make a show of being hurt. Pick her some flowers or bring her a drink. She'll get over it in a snap. Rather manage without your advice, thank you. She cares for you. You have feelings for her. Don't overthink it. Surrender to spontaneous honesty. Nothing more beautiful in human relationships. You needn't end like Aldona and Jonas. Besotted fools bound by a contract they'll never escape. Seize the night. Seize your chance. Enjoy one another. That's it. Have fun. If I can have fun as a friend, I will. Otherwise, not. Nah, I'm married, bitch. Hide the wenches, witch is coming. <laughs> Read the care. Seriously? That's weird. Oh, that's my character. He's not the one I was looking for. Oh, wait a minute. I opened one. I didn't even realize that. Um, let's see. Let's do this one. <laughs> I do, do that, I guess. Sure, why not? Uh, character. Is she, well, she's not a beast, I know that. Wait, what? Why was one ca- Oh, it's my character and then characters. Gotcha. Uh, let's see here. Shawnee. Hmm. Where do I find this? This is like a block of fucking text. Um. Berry laden Rowan, a plant near and dear to her heart. There we go. Rowan. <laughs> Mead ought to lift her spirits. Nah, it's not what she's looking for. A sip of something strong never hurt anyone. The question is, 
with a chair out. No, leave it. Good idea? Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. How the fuck would you know that? Run! Run away! <laughs> Rowan Berry Brandon. Ah! Johnny loves the blossoms. I enjoy this as well. Sip of something That's strong never hurt anyone. We'll leave it here for now to see if we can actually find Rowan Berry. Good idea. Maybe not. She might be a sad drunk. Let's see if we can find the actual plant. Well, the dog's barking again. That's an annoying sounding dog, that's for damn sure. Where's the thing over here? Oh, here. A Rowan. Shawnee mentioned she used to weave the berries into necklaces. Pretty, I guess. Yeah, there here we is. go. Will it cheer her up? Yeah. Fine, I'll pick some. Becoming quite the romantic. I really hope this doesn't go where I think it's gonna go. Ooh. You're kind of in my way, dude. Oh. Hell, witch, witch! Oh. I'll let them deal with the witch. Still here? Thought you had to meet Olgird. Not yet. I see each other so rarely. Figured old Geard could wait till morning. Smile, Shani. I remembered I liked the Rowan. I do hear you when you talk. Remember a lot of things about you. Wedding's still in full swing, but your face. I'd say you were at a funeral. Why so sad? Sad? Not really. It's just... After I caught the garland, I realized something. Years are flying by, yet all I ever do is study, pump stomachs, and reattach limbs. All alone. Yeah, I'm gonna say you've got friends. I know you've got me probably will lead to romance. I hope this still cheers her up. You've got friends. Me, for one. Uh, in that case, let's drink to our friendship. To friendship. I'm afraid the drinks got into our minstrels. Horribly off key. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. Good idea. Keep blowing on that flute and not making a damn sound. <laughs> Did you enjoy the wedding? Uh, it was all right. Not half bad. Might have even enjoyed myself if I hadn't had to argue with a madman's ghost, be his puppet. <laughs> Gotta admit, though, thanks to him, I did experience a lot of things I might have missed otherwise. Mean chasing a dog through the woods or brawling, fence board in hand? Forgetting something. There was also a kiss. <laughs> True. Though that was so clearly Vladimir. I nearly forgot you were involved at all. His will, sure, but my, oh, my body, body felt everything. Reminded me of the old times. <sighs> Vizima, you mean? Oh, I thought you'd forgotten our whole Catriona story. That was background. What I remember most, the mood, the feelings, the people I met. And those I met for the second time in my life. You're right. I was up to my elbows in work, but those were good times. They're nice memories. For me, too. You needn't worry about our finances, sir. My workshop, business is booming. Good. I'm really dear it. See, coins tied to torrent. But don't tell the old battle axe. 
She'd be furious if she learned to let it slip. Never you worry, sir. My lips are sealed as the grave. Us men folk need to stick together. Sir. Sir. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm Vassy. But you can call me Da. Oh, thank you, Da. I feel honoured. Let's drink on it. Seems, Seems to be a good guy. A bride's father and his son-in-law? Stiff at first, but add drink and they bond or slap each other silly. I was afraid the wedding wouldn't happen at all. You mean the differences in wealth? Mm-hmm. Jonas's family didn't consider Aldona worthy. Clear they love each other, though. Parents usually give in if that's the case. Hmm, I don't know about that. Oh, I don't know. My mother would never accept an unfit beau, even if I insisted I loved him, had chosen him. Yeah, you'd convince her. Doubt your mother's that unbending. You'd win her over, I'm sure. I haven't managed to yet. <laughs> you only ever bring home fiddlers, jugglers, and witchers? <laughs> no, but she'd want me to choose someone wealthy, or with a good trade, well brought up. Nothing wrong with that, is there? Uh, I guess not, but it's hard to find one like that who's still even slightly amusing. That's probably true. Tell that to my mother. She actually thinks I should have found a husband at the academy. But That's a I little didn't. early. Ugh. I'm certain she thinks there's something horribly wrong with me. Oh, please, Shani. It's the 13th century. Women don't go to the academy to find a husband. They go to learn, pursue their passion. You did that. I'm sure your mother appreciates it. You got a doctorate, have your own practice, been at the front lines many times. You're a good person. Not a thing wrong with you. Really think so? Really. If I wasn't with Triss, I would go for her. She's a really good person. Look, the brave brothers. Drank themselves stiff as the boards they tore from the fence. Wonder where the sister is. Couldn't protect her from a cheeky four-year-old in their condition. If they hadn't intervened, you'd have gone for a tumble in the hay with her. She was willing, if you ask me. Yeah, that was Vladimir, that not was me. Vladimir, not me, remember? But pretend for a moment it had been you, and the situation had been different. No. Say you're at the wedding, and that very girl keeps glancing, smiling at you. Then she finally walks up, and you know exactly what she wants. What do you do? If I had the choice, which I don't, yeah, I'd let her down easy. Huh. If Dandelion was around, and he usually is, I'd introduce her to him and walk off. I don't believe that. You'd let the opportunity pass? I don't need opportunities like that. Hmm, change to style. Let's say I've grown choosy. You say that as if you've already picked. Because I have. Guess who? Triss. Please don't. Ooh, gorgeous. There's too many games you either need to be in love with the lady or be and an asshole to the lady. Kiss. What kiss? The one Vladimir planted on your lips with my lips. Just wondering if it would have felt any different without him there. <laughs> that I cannot tell you. Only one way to find out. Oh, come on. God damn it. Talking video games. Okay, yeah, you beat out Vladimir, that's for damn sure. So, how'd it compare? Better by a mile. Definitely rather kiss you alone, of my own free will. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe Vladimir was after more than a kiss. Said so Please openly, don't. in fact. Please just leave it All there. true. He was very direct, I'll give him that. Which, on occasion, has its advantages. You're right. Can save a lot of time. So, how do you stand today, Geralt? 
Have some time to waste with me? Or would you rather How about go Fisco? Back? Welcome in. Uh, let's go back. Love to stay, I would. But we ought to get back to the wedding. Oh, yes. Yes. That's best. Why do I have to be Any the asshole? Just Give me a middle ground. Friends should stay friends. Mm -hmm. My feeling, too. I literally fucking I married Triss. Alone. So I'm not going back to the wedding. Not really fond of watching drunks stagger around, anyway. Shani, wait. Before you go, need to ask you a favor. Yes? It's about Olgierd. Seems a mysterious man. Can't escape the impression his story's more complicated than I thought. Could you look into it? See if you can learn something? Sure. Be glad to. Thanks. Be seeing you. Yes. See you later, Geralt. At least she's happier than she was. I acquired a rope ladder after kissing her. Don't know if that was a reward or what. All right. That I got to keep the ass ears. And it's a weapon? Oh, it's a mask. Okay, that's really weird. But okay. Wait, is what I'm wearing actually good? Where's my old stuff? I guess it's just underneath this. No, that's it right there. Wait, is this better than what I had? Okay, sure, why not? Cool. I upgraded my outfit to a robe. All right. Where to now? I think, what is this? Yeah, right there. So I need, didn't mean to go all the way out. So where is I? Go back to the party. back to the wedding, teleport out of here, and then uh, we did the... Can I go through here? Oh, here you go. Uh, we did the impossible tasks, so this should end it. In theory. I teleported through the door. Okay. Can't believe the game wouldn't even let me play Gwent. I couldn't even badly lose. At some point I need to stop and just go buy a whole bunch of fucking cards. And maybe I can actually play the damn game. Let me save, please. There we go. Well, bud. Wrong room. Huh? Need to John Eric? I did your shit. I'm all ears with you. Vladimir sends his greetings. I actually have a letter from him. Vladimir sends his love. You spoke to him. Impossible. Did more than that. Did more than that. Fulfilled your wish and talked to him extensively. Curious what he had to say. He made up the story, which. Cool on you, dude. Honestly. Fulfilled your wish. Your dead brother had himself one more day like those of old. Very easy to say. But have you got any proof? I do. Vladimir's hand is unmistakable. You've done well, Witcher. Need something else? What do you mean, need something else? I did your impossible tasks.
Oh, yeah, he didn't tell me about the third one because he didn't think I'd get the two done. All right, what's the third, third one? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the heron out the barrel. Who's in the barrel? Who this? Come on, none of this dallying. Ah, ah, ah. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye. Got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. <laughs> the theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Why wouldn't the gods be able to see indoors? Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn. Raucously. Of course. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burned the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's a little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those I mean, threats. You can't die, so. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenfurt claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. All right, what about the third task? Let's get on with it. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me. They did nothing of the sort. I mean, truly loved. Yes, I'm fucking married. Yeah, you know what? Yes, I have. Yeah, I've loved. Twice, technically. Can we get to the matter at hand? Perhaps instead we ought to sit down inside. Have a good chat over some fiery water. I thought you wanted to chat out here. You know what? I don't want to have a drink with you. Not about to drink with you. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Aye, aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her at last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you have. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dormless, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you can tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you God speed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. I wonder if it's an actual flower or if it's uh, something else. 
You'll choke to death on three pounds of... All right, to the Von Erichs estate. You know what, before I go there, let's repair shit and uh, make it better. Greetings again. Yeah, 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 greetings, greetings. Show me what you have. Show me what you've got. I should probably also sell what I can sell. Um. What the? I just sold the good one. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Fare thee well. So long. Oh. Pardon me. In a hurry. A little bit. Not necessarily in a hurry. I'm just, you know. We have time to mess with you, assholes. All right, I've been wondering how to get in here for a while now, and now we know. All right, let me get there on the other. Hey, there's nothing there for me to track. Fair enough. We got into the Anyone there? Oh. Mighty rusty, covered in creepers. Kendrick. Kendrick. You there? Not so loud. Ah! God scared me off. Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them, believe me. <laughs> Foglets. Yeah, they suck. Oh, sweet mother, my little boy, I ever come here. I don't know. Good question. What are you doing here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. And... Mm -hmm. So you're a thief. Thieves steal from the living. What's the arm taking from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... You should probably either stay here or leave, but I'll go in. Of course I will. Is that a garbage bag over there? What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No, I ain't no foglet. No. Phew. That's a stone off I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. There we go. That works too. Pretty sprawling, this estate. Someone still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Oh, it's just a sack. Door. You. So, what? Am I looking for the gardener? Water's ice cold, mountain stream cold. This is a g g g ghost Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who. Hmm. I still think it's a g g g g ghost. Somebody painting here? Woods rotted completely. That that's nice. Can I leave now? Jeez, won't let me move. Beehives? Beehives. Well maintained, but dormant. Dormant as in no like winter? Rose here. Maybe somewhere out back. Yeah, I'm sure it's like inside or something. Hello? Oh, fuck. 
Look at those soulless eyes. Just waiting for me to I'd go to sleep along, and kitty. suck my soul this out. Place. What's that? That digging. A lockpick. Must have been the other thieves. Prints from cleated boots leading from the back of the garden. I don't like this. Dragged a wounded man through here. Of course, it's locked. Well, I think that man is dead. Graves unmarked. Laid out in rows, like garden beds. Growing flowers? Corpse weeds. Hey. Hear me? Other thief. Bodies mutilated. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> they sewed itself together? It's a goddamn Frankenstein creature. Oh god. Cutting you up a little bit here, bud. Whoa. Those ghosts are giving him his health back. Oh, right, so now I know I need to kill the ghosts first. How many kills ghosts? I do not know. Kiwi, he don't need no damn eyes. Oh god. Don't bud. Can't move. Oh, wow.
sir. Can he just do that infinitely? Oh boy. Do you like him? Yeah. Might be a Dark Souls boss, or a, more like a Bloodborne boss. First try, bitches. What so, the uh, fuck was that? Yeah. Uh. No eyes or nostrils. The cat organs. and a dog over there. No right to be alive. You can breathe through its mouth. There's a dog behind you, dude. Looks just as creepy as the cat. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked. I'm not pe pet neither of these. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. Fr not friends of me. You two are a little mysterious, aren't you? What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. Uh, what the fuck was this thing? What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away? Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. Okay, I'm looking for a violet rose that's probably already withered and died. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady Von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgird gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. Just so. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. What's down there? Looks bad, man. Don't make a can. I don't like this. Hello, looking for a a flower of some sort. Well, there's something over there. I can tell by the sparkles. What the hell? Ma'am? There she is! That's probably a good thing. Right, I don't want to touch that yet. 
I accidentally went directly to the right room. You will die here. Thanks, lady. <laughs> Came and go out the front door. Got some raspberries. Hmm, okay, let's start looking at things. Hmm. Rather Just examine it. Everything's clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker meal for must three? Still set the table. Hey, settle down! I'm just looking around. I mean, I think he was just as much of an asshole back then. Maybe not as cynical. I'm trying to light the damn thing. Are you kidding me? Fuck it, whatever. What the hell was that? Okay, whatever. If they wanted me to look at it, they would have shown it to me. I don't care. I don't feel like delving into menus to find a, a book that I picked up. Normally, I can just hit B to read it. But it didn't pop up. Ma'am, do you mind? I, I just need the flower. Not that flower. Y'all, every family's dysfunctional in its own way. So we can't go out on the balcony. Fire damage. Interesting. I don't know why that's interesting, but take your word for it, Geralt. It's down here. Oh, you can get down here. That's not what I meant to do. Well, crap. Much better. Keep forgetting I can do that. I got do it to yourself out of the book. Wonder what it covers. Can I come in? Thank you. That's not spooky. That food doesn't look rotten. Come at me, Wraithy lady. Like me slashing you to bits? Too bad. Bye. Oh, there she is.
I don't get it. back please what the hell was that oh the place is on fire can I sleep no crap oh, I can cool much better at least I have my my swallows back Supposed to be. There she is. Gotta be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her for all time. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Care? Yet that's precisely what happened. One day I was locked the front door, lay down here and died from grief, from loneliness. Oh, so heartache, not burst. Dumbass. Stupid dog. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies. Surprised? No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm. Maybe there. Wait. Take this key. It opens the front door. Well, thank Good you. dog. <laughs> Wait, I wasn't done up there.
I wasn't done up there yet. How dare are you? Please don't make me fight that thing again. Ah, a portrait. I can read the painting, but I couldn't read whatever. What is that sound? I hear something outside. Okay, well, we're done here. Wait a minute. Can I get through here? Ah, it's locked. He's locked. Hi. I wanted to look at this. I saw it last time. Rope looks new. Bucket's been repaired. Cool. Gardener's hut. Could it be? Tools are so organized, it's scary. I had one job. That brought one. Hmm. Now, where do we bury her? This is actually a really good idea right here. This place seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. That's correct, Kiwi. I do use safety razors. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death, worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. I guess I'll be the one to do that. Why do you ask, Kiwi? Uh... She was a talented painter, that's for damn sure. Can't say much about Iris von Everek, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. Um, it can, Kiwi, but you have to really practice and be careful with it. You don't press down at all, it's weighted, so you let the weight um, do its job. So you just have to be patient with it and learn how to use it, and then, yeah, it is a cleaner shave. Uh, let's place the sketchbook on the grave. Can we Your name's both? inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. Uh... Okay, I guess I don't get to put both. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. Let's see the if it works. Are interred. Let's summon her. I don't know Tormented if I should put the spirits. sketchbook or the painting to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself. It really is, even if you replace them every single time you use them, it's still really cheap, Kiwi. Forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Well, nice to see you too.
It was beautiful. Should I follow you? All right. I'm going to jump into a painting. What is this, Mario 64? What is this place? The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death, it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. Well, shit. All right, this is lovely and all, but... Where's Iris? You awoke her, but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Guess I can get the flower Easy in here. Because it will never wilt. and shit. All geared and his wife look frozen mid-motion. One of her memories. It is blurred, incomplete. You must restore it. I restore it. Ah. Okay, I have the decorations for a special occasion. A wedding veil. Wedding veil. Uh, I think it'd be the flowers. Right. Okay. Probably not right. Ah, I didn't see it. Oh, okay, they both had glasses. Just down. like the one Olgeard's holding. Perfect match. Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. Oh, true love. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but I know this sounds silly. Yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My night... You've seen to everything. Why am I? What do your witcher eyes see, Geralt? Yeah. 
Of course it's a big damn it all. Why did he have to sweep up the spiders? Oh, well, I'm dead, Jesus fucking Christ. Now, tell me, was that precisely fair? I don't think it was. Just like a big ball of spiders, just blah. Ah, oh, damn it all. Now they're spread out. Jesus! I even took the swallow and it wasn't enough. Oh, it's gonna be hell, isn't it? I have a broken sword and everything. Oh man. Ah, oh, damn it all. The little one and the big one left. Just the big one left. Big one down. Hank, hmm. my dying's coming. Oh, it's just now humming, huh? A wraith? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized. One you must now face. Okay. See if I can. I can meditate. Oh, I can't. Because I was running, or no, can't meditate in here. Fuck. This one's incomplete, too. A lavish feast, trying to impress the guests. Silver thread, pearls, it all must have cost a fortune. Just a little different than Castel de Bello, a Toussaint wine. Expensive. Of course, nothing about the best. A little bit easier to see. Olgird's wife liked flowers. Judging by the ornamentation, this might be hers. Okay. 
Oh, the bottom one was off. Is it just that? That was it. Okay. That My was a pretty darling, easy puzzle. Is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll, ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out. Wow, to without him asking. A shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Okay. Now you see his true nature. I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian it was and a boar who rude keeps of the them company to do of that. bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? Well, here's the nightmare. Lucky day. Can barely see him. He did. So let's follow him. Not you again. Don't like this place. This place sucks. So upstairs, I guess. Doesn't really give us much of a choice. The bed chamber. There you go, these. Ow. That came out of nowhere. A bloody towel. Blood. I swear to God, if he hits her. Rick's almost gone. Shirt. Never worn, I think. Blood stains. Someone washed their hands, then wiped them dry on that towel. What what time is it? It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Blood. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. He didn't Shut seem like the one now. to be physically violent. Question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. I can't blame his reaction to burning the bank notes. I really can't. Well, I just leveled up. In a in a in, in there we go. In a painting of all things. So does it stay in the painting? Another blurred memory. She painted all geared, but the details are off. Living tableau is missing something, as if someone just rinsed it. Goblet, like the one in the painting. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Still not right. 
Yeah, it's not right because I didn't put anything there. Uh, it's all of them. Living tablet. Uh, the apple's on the right. This goes here. Grapes are in the middle, and the goblet was on the left. Maybe here. Goblet goes on the left. Maybe this. No? Okay, goblet in the middle. Maybe on this side. And then the grapes are on the left, I guess. I guess I, I have to put Fits, it in the right place. I think. Finally, just like the picture. Sure. Smile a bit wider. Like this. Ah. No, 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 no. Big you goofy will grin. To smile, not bare your teeth. No, Big goofy still grin. Wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please. Hmm. You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Olgird. Olgird! Well, I guess I won't go out there. More than one of you, eh? Whatever will I do? It. She'll die for that. How? They just keep coming back. What the fuck? Come here, asshole. There we go, much better. Madam? Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. I can see that. Pentagram's here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, and I can set out the candles. Blood pacts. Or on foreign presences. Hmm. A tome about parleying with demons. These wax candles. The gates of mystery. Between worlds. A library of an occultist. Blood. Or some kind of magic, I bet. Blood. Chalk. All right. <sighs> Black magic. And you know exactly how to do that it. That should huh? do it. Now for the candles. Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I need to think this through. How am I supposed to know? I did not mean to do that. Um, it has to be in the books that I just picked up. Fuck. Don't remember. Between worlds. Doesn't seem like it's in here. And this was the other one. Okay. Um. 
The circle must be complete and eternal with no ruptures. The lines must be drawn steady, blah, blah, blah. The circle must be further in the barrier from... The circle must be further secured by a barrier in the form of lit candles made of beeswax. Circle dust uh, protected. Okay, so just on the, the line. All right, let's try this again. Um, surrounding the pentagram. How about this? Come back. That we must it. talk. Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once. Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. If you're ashamed of what you're doing, maybe you shouldn't be doing it, dude. Must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee! Does he simply want to grow old with her? Is that all it was? hearts Ice batter Everything done burst drop Can I move please thank you game this is why he started smoking. A Deer mug. tankard, but there was vodka in it. A marriage contract? A marriage contract between Iris and Olgeard. So damn that's mug. how he whiled away the long winter evenings. Contract? Probably not right. Probably not right. Well, <laughs> her father must have. Yeah, been it was grayed out. So. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed. That you shall heed her counsel and requests. And get to the point, father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. Oh, jeez. You vowed to remain with me till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Father! Father! No! Servants! Wow. Take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. 
Jesus Christ, dude. Like, seriously. Die, you lousy specter. Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs. Yeah, you're arguing semantics at that point. See, it doesn't matter if he still loves her or thinks that he should love her because well, the way he's acting is fucking horrible? Yeah, fucking horrible. We'll go with that. I remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence, animal hair. We'll take our places. The same as then. You do the rest. Oh, Nerd. Hmm. A large clay bowl. Small bowl. And a small bowl. For soup, maybe. The fuck? Large bowl? I think this was yours. And then small bowl. There we go. Single place setting. No others on the table. And then he had the food. All right, there you go. Perfect match. You actually ate from these bowls? And then she was a prisoner. Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Just for appearances. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you. Care for the house. No matter what happens. Before, I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Mm-hmm. That's a lie. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Ogird. I want you out of my sight. What an idiot. Olgerd von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear. And what would that be? My dearest wife, letters from Old Gear to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy fort grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you with her. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. They just let her go. And remember but the good times, Old Gear. Could have just let her go and she would have been happy. Happier. Where's the rose? Sons of bitches. Jesus Christ.
Okay. I guess in her mind, she's completely, he's completely and utterly unstoppable. Wow, I rolled and it just didn't. As much as the same bone is a boulder of the roadside. Just automatically. I'm trying to attack the other things. Maybe I can get him to attack himself? Nope, he just fucking teleports through him. Okay. Yeah, I can't. I attacked him last time, but now I can't. You wonder the dangers of your Live happily ever after. Wow. Away, please. I don't even know what the fuck is this bullshit. It seems like I need to attack the other ones, but it won't let me target them. Just wow. And then the other one is just a fucking buzzsaw. And I can't hurt him. Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh my god! Wait, now they're both invulnerable? Okay, I was gonna say. Oh, I can hurt him. Now all of a sudden I can. What the fuck? Goodbye. Yeah. Okay, I think I killed one. They got me trapped in the fucking corner. Wow. This is such a weird fucking fight. Fuck. Okay. 
you don't. That's a dangerous chosen to deal with. I can't. I was trying to roll backwards and it just refused to let me. Now all of a sudden it gets easier. I can stunlock them. What the fuck? Okay, that's really weird. I don't understand why the fight was so hard to begin with and then easy. So weird. Everything's good now? Hi lady, can we have a talk? You're not him. Thankfully, no, I am not. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. Then where? I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. I am not him in for any way. Kid. I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. It is an actual flower. And I, I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Well, I mean, he's immortal, so... Your husband's got a powerful enemy, Gontor Odim. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he, and how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Yeah, he pretends to be happy, but he isn't. Your husband hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate, because at heart he's unhappy. At heart he is stone, so nothing has changed. And did... did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much, but I didn't ask about you. 
He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Pretty much. Horrible. Need to be honest. If I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. But there's a chance. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until... there is nothing at all. Yeah, I can't take the rose. I can't take the rose. Is it not what you came for? Can't force Iris into oblivion. She thinks and feels still, and she's no danger to anyone but intruders. Look at her. Look at her world. She's doomed to relive the painful past eternally. Take the rose. Show her mercy. What should I do? What do you want me to do? I do not know what I want. I'm so very, very afraid. You too. You want me to take the rose, trying to convince me. Why? We want to help Iris von Everick. And you. Generous demons? I don't buy it. Because you are demons, right? You were to serve Iris until the end of her days, and didn't come with her death, so you were sentenced to stay in the world of her torment for all time. Can't break the contract yourselves, so you need me to do it for you. If I take the rose, Iris will cease to exist, but you'll also be freed. You're right. But are we wrong to want that? Our intentions are pure. We're but bit players in this tragedy. A performance has gone on too long. We can't help the mistress, and her fate no longer moves us. Can we be blamed for simply wanting to leave the stage? I can't force her to... I can't just take it. I won't decide your fate. I can't accept the rose. Will you leave empty-handed? What about your task? Rose stays with Iris. So that is how it's to be. Perhaps in the years to come, another will appear to free us. I don't know that you've chosen wisely. And though I feel no gratitude, I'll not send you away empty-handed. Look, the petal edges darken. The flower closes, and I am overcome with sleep. Good night, stranger. You must leave. The rose awaits outside this world, while I... I descend once more into my dream of what was. 
Ogid. I wish to be with Ogid, to gaze into those eyes, eyes the devil would be proud to have. Farewell. She should have given up the rose, but I can't force her to do it. Time to Mario 64 this fish. Wahoo! Sure, that fits with the story that we just heard, right? Paintings changed. Got the violet rose there now. And Iris, ready to see her husband again. Cut her out and take her to her husband. Why don't you just take the whole painting? There we go. Bring him back his fucking wife. Man is sick. Um, but yeah. I think I'm going to leave it here. Um, that was a hell of a story, and, uh, I don't know if we'll just give it to him and everything will be over. I have a feeling we're going to have to deal with the, the man of glass. What was he? The glass man? The, the djinn, basically. So, um, yeah, we'll do that next time. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed my nonsense. If you did, a like, comment, subscribing, and hitting that bell icon would be greatly appreciated. This has been Boy Lag, signing off.